the first graphic illustrates two lower incisors with recession, significant recession past the mucogenital junction, which is illustrated by the dotted line. The solid lines indicate the location of the initial incisions. The midline area is dissected by sharp dissection to create a tunnel beneath the papilla between the central incisors. So this site is not detached and this will allow immobility in this region. Before we view the video, I would like to show one case in slides to further demonstrate this procedure. The advantage of moving this pedicle over the root area is that it will provide blood supply to the graft in the most delicate region where it receives no blood supply from the root surface beneath it. And now we will extend underneath the tissue between the two teeth, the papilla, with sharp dissection. But we don't want to raise that or separate it from the underlying uh, bed. So we're raising the flap from the patient's left side and extending under the papilla. So we'll catch the graft on one proximal border. and actually penetrate through the papilla for security. Now we see the graft following positioning of the graft beneath the midline papilla with two sling sutures, one around each side.